Every year there are 200,000 kids born with clubfoot, and 80% of those cases are in developing countries where they can't afford the, the treatment that's necessary. So the Miracle Brace project started when I was approached by the Miracle Feet Foundation, with their goal being to treat kids with clubfoot. And what they needed was a low-cost brace that's essential in the treatment process. So Reallocate's bringing together a consortium of uh, corporate partners and individuals that are donating their time to redesign this brace and make it possible so that kids can walk. Our, our partners are helping with the software, with the Autodesk. Partners are helping with the 3D printing, with the object. Um, they're helping with the facilities to make this all possible here at Tech Shop. So it's really a, a group effort to try to make a difference in the world. When you're working in teams, communication is everything. And being able to sit around the computer and really visualize a design and communicate all the different aspects to each other is critical. Autodesk Inventor enables you to share your design ideas at a rapid pace with the community that you're working with. Inventor is an extension of your hand. I mean, it's an extension of your thoughts into that screen. So you can create things now that you can't visually represent in any other way. When you want to communicate with the outside world, well, you can't just put a 3D file in front of a doctor and always have them imagine it. Their minds aren't quite wired that way. So there's no substitute for putting a looks like, works like prototype in their hands and then getting their feedback. So what we do is we create a 3D model in Inventor where the designers all come to agreement on what it should look like and then we take that file and then we send it out to Object and then they can actually grow us exact replica of the model and then we can just ship that out to the doctors and then get feedback from them. On this project, by the time we're done, we'll probably have gone through a baker's dozens worth of different iterations. In this way, we're very quickly able to arrive at a very innovative and new solution that'll be low cost and still work. So this is the fun part. We've created the design inventor, we sent it out to Objet, they 3D printed it for us, now we have all the parts back, and now we basically just get to put it together. We want doctors to be able to assemble this, and doctors in developing countries. Remember the doctor in Nicaragua, I mean, he had one tool, and that was his desk. I mean, he would put everything in his desk. He'd put things in there and bend it. He would use it as a kind of a, a clamp for turning wing nuts. It's easy when you're around all this high-tech equipment to try to make something that's really high-tech, but if you send something high-tech to a developing country, it's completely foreign to them, and they may not accept it. When we're designing, we can't just think about putting these things together in a, in a workshop. We have to think about, you know, you're out in some village where there are no tools. How are you going to put this together? What do they have accessible? So that has to be a part of the design process. Working on this project, redesigning this brace, and that's been largely in a vacuum, and it wasn't until I went to Nicaragua that I was actually there with, with the end user. And these people were so nice and so sweet. And I mean, even when that kid was crying uh, when he first came in and then put the brace on him and stopped crying, I kind of realized the, the complete impact right there. Before, I kept thinking, oh, we could you know, help 200,000 kids walk, and this, this is going to be amazing. And, and, that, and that's absolutely true. But after I went down to Nicaragua and I helped one kid, that was enough. It's definitely one of the most magical days of my life. Thank you.